so that you will live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Hebrew word for father is Ab. Think of a great man who's the father of the Jews, Abraham, right? Ab. The Hebrew word for father is Ab. And so a little Hebrew child would say Abba. The English equivalent would be Daddy or Papa or Jason calls me Pops. All right? That whenever you're in family, you become, there's an intimate way. To, any of you have, you know, intimate talk within names for your family? Like Jason is Jay. I, I don't know if his name's Jason anymore. Most of the time we call him Jay, you know, and Jeremy's Jer. I call him worse sometimes, but, you know, uh, you know, Julie, I have all kinds of names for her, you know. I'm not going to tell you uh, all the names I have for her, and uh, it'll make her red and make me red. But you have, you know, in family, you have... You, have, you describe one another in intimate terms. And it, it, we, over, we can quickly overlook at this, but because I'm adopted, I can call God Abba. Dada. You know, it's a term of endearment that I have a special relationship with him. You know, Jesus was the first Jew to ever call him Abba. And it's interesting when he did it in Mark chapter 14. It's in the Garden of Gethsemane that Jesus said this, Abba, Father. No other Jew had ever done that before. But Jesus said, Abba, Father. He said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. I want you to understand the context when he said, Daddy. The context was that he knows he's going to die. He knows what's going to happen to him. He knows where he came from. He knows what's going to happen. And it's in that context that he cries out, Daddy, if you can, please help me. That makes it even more powerful, isn't it? Some of us can relate to that. We've had children that have had surgery, right? Some of you have had children that have died. Whenever you have a family member who is suffering uh, intimacy goes to another level, doesn't it? Right? Then I can remember when my boys had to be stitched up. I passed out on Jeremy one time because of that. <laughs> All right? And uh, the doctor showed me his skull, and I just went, Ugh. 